Connecticut. Today is a holiday. Some will continue to honor Columbus Day. Others now choosing Indigenous Peoples Day, a national holiday to celebrate and honor the history and culture of Native Americans. This morning, our Ryan Jenkins is going 360, digging into a controversial issue that over the past year has been top of mind for school districts, sports teams, and colleges and universities all across the country. The use of Native American imagery in logos, mascots, and nicknames. Wisconsin is home to 11 Indian nations and tribal communities, including the Oneida Nation, Menominee Indian Tribe, and Ho-Chunk Nation. We are also home to 28 school districts that use Native American-based mascots, logos, or nicknames, like the Indians and Chiefs. A resurgence in a decades-old debate pits those who say these images celebrate culture against those who say they perpetuate stereotypes. To fully understand each side, we're going 360, speaking to a congressional candidate pushing for state legislation requiring the removal of Native American mascots from schools. A school board president who says the conversation needs to stay local without state laws getting in the way. A leader from a national group who believes erasing the imagery from schools eradicates Native American history. And to a high school senior who is part Native American himself, one young voice that contributed to having the Menominee Falls Indians mascot retired just this past year. That's where we'll start. I switched sides. I started off wanting to keep it. Nathan Russell is a quarter Native American and is a senior at Menominee Falls High School. This year is the first year the school's mascot is the Falls Phoenix, previously known as the Indian a nickname he remembers becoming uncomfortable with when other students used it to their advantage during sporting events. They would be misrepresenting the culture, which I think was the biggest part about what was kind of in the back of my head as well, thinking you, you have to, if, if you're going to do it, do it right, first of all. And if you're also going to do it right, at least learn from the people who were here and from people who have kept that culture alive through everything that's gone. This is a conversation happening statewide. The Wausau School Board voted last year to ban the use of Native American mascots in schools. School Board President Trisha Zunker led that push. She's now running for Congress, working to become the state's first Native American elected to that position. In the role, she hopes to get mascots, logos, and nicknames banned everywhere in Wisconsin. They undermine the educational experience of all students, they exacerbate cross-community conflict, and they create a hostile learning environment for Native students to learn in that can have lifelong detrimental consequences. Zunker introduced a similar resolution last year, but it failed to pass, so she's back at it. This isn't a local issue. They don't stay confined within the school district boundaries, um, and they just perpetuate offensive racist stereotypes. McWanago School Board President Erica Connor disagrees that there's a need for a state law and has voted against Zunker's resolution in the past. Certain things are very important in different areas um, and regardless of actually how you feel about the mascot, I believe local control is very, very important because of that whole demographic piece and what communities um, are known for and what they stand for. McWanago High School is home to the Indians, and Connor says in the past, the majority of the community made their opinion clear. They came out in support of maintaining that mascot. Setting the school board opinions aside, the Native American Guardians Association, created to represent the voice of American Indians, says no laws should ever ban the use of this imagery. We see it as a cultural genocide. The group opposes the cartoonist depictions and racist mascots, but says the nicknames and logos can still be used to preserve Native American legacy. Too many of these schools have had their native themes for all of these decades, and they've not done anything to educate about Native Americans. And that's the, the stance of our organization is educate, not eradicate. A common theme throughout these interviews is that people on all sides of the issue believe that more education about local tribes and the history of Native Americans in Wisconsin is long overdue. Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.